In this video, I'll show you how to set up a different WooCommerce variation quantity in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the MinMax Quantity Rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. So the second step, assuming you've downloaded the MinMax Rule plugin by WooSuite, is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go Plugins, Add New, go ahead and upload and install the WooSuite Core plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key, and then from the Add-ons menu, you want to go ahead and toggle this MinMax Quantity Rules on. So you'd go WooSuite, Add-ons, Okay, and then you just scroll down and go ahead and locate the MinMax Quantity Rules plugin. Once you've done so, just go ahead and click um, Install and toggle it to On, just like we've got here. Okay, so now the third step is to go ahead and configure our WooCommerce variation quantity on a product level. We can do it in a global level as well. But if you want more control over the individual quantities per variation, then you want to do that on a product level. So I've already got a product open here. Okay, so this is a variable product. Okay, if I click back onto this general tab, so you'll see this option here created by the MinMax Quantity Rules plugin. Okay, and I'll just quickly go through. So, so this is great if you want to set a minimum or maximum quantity for all variations, okay, within this product. Okay, so the first thing is where it says applies to, which is who you want this rule to apply to. So it can be for everyone. Um, guest users, which are basically logged out users. Um, and also you can select a specific user role as well. And I believe we've got the option to select for a specific user as well. But I'm using an older version. In yours, you'll most likely see um, the specific user as well. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. So where it says minimum quantity, we can go ahead and enter in an amount here. So I can say five. So for all um, variations, the minimum um, quantity allowed um, is five. Okay. So so we can set a maximum as well and then we can also set a quantity step meaning the order increments in which they'll be able to add quantities to their basket and then for default quantity when the page loads you can set a default quantity so let's say for example if i didn't want to add a minimum um quantity amount for this product but i wanted to encourage users to order um let's say five units right so i can just add five here so five will be the default however um, since it's not a minimum amount, it's just a recommendation, the user will still be able to enter in um, less than five or more than five. Hope that makes sense. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to set our minimum to five for each SKU. Okay, so I'm just going to update this. If you want it as well, we can add um, several different rules. So we can click add new rule here and then we can create a different rule for a different um, user group. Okay, so let me go ahead and view this product. So here on the front end, we can see that the minimum that we're allowed to add to our cart is five. If I go ahead and select a variation here. Okay, since I've already... I've <laughs> okay, so I created a rule earlier for this particular variation um, for it to be to have a minimum of a 10. Okay, so that's why it's showing there. Whereas if we choose a different um, variation here, we can see that the minimum amount required is five. So let's go on the back end and see how I created a separate um, minimum quantity for our green variation, sorry, our blue variation, okay? So now, so as I said here, we can set a default for all variations, but if we click on variation here, we can actually go ahead and customize um, the minimum amount and the steps for the different um, variations that you've got in your store. Okay, so for example, for all um, blue t-shirts um, of any size, here I've set a minimum quantity amount of 10. So that's why we saw 10 on the front end. If we change this to 15, then the changes will reflect on the front end as well. And we can also set a maximum amount and also the quantity step as well. So let's go ahead and just hit update here. And as you've noticed as well, um, when we set when we set um, the min max quantities on the variation, it overrides the default that we set here on the general settings. OK, so let's just refresh this page. OK, and then when we select the blue variant, we can see that the minimum amount now is 15. 
okay so it's a similar concept if you want to set a maximum amount as well if you want to set if you want to set as well a order increments the concept is exactly the same so on the general settings here the general tabs you can go ahead and set a default for all variation or you can go ahead and click on variation and then you'll be able to set it um, per variation one last thing before we wrap up this video is if i head back over to our dashboard here and then if we go woo suite um, min max quantity rules so here is this is what we'll call the global level so these settings here will apply to all products whether it's um, a variable product or a single product or um, any other product types okay so similar to on um, the product page we can choose who we want this rule to apply to okay and here it's again it functions just the same so we can go ahead and set a minimum quantity amount maximum quantity amount minimum order value maximum order value and again as well we can set a default quantity we can set the quantity increments and we can also convert the quantity options into a drop down and we can just click this option here to add different rules and as he said a different quantity per woocommerce variation in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible